Hello everybody, this is the Automation Zone. In the last tutorial, we learned all about numbers. In this tutorial, we learn about strings. Strings just means text. However, in the programming language, we do not use the word text, we use strings. So going forward, if you need to display any text or work with text in a program, we would refer it by using the word as strings. The first thing that we learn today is how to create a string. To create a string, type in the text that you want, for example, hello world, and enclose your text within your double quotes. Now whatever is present in between your double quotes will be considered as a string in Python. It can either have no characters or more than zero characters. There is a limit to it, however, the limit of it is so large that you do not need to be bothered by it. In our previous session, we learned the command called print. Print is used to display things on our console window right here. So we'll use the command print to display our string. Type in print and within our command or within our parentheses, type in your string hello world. If you see the output in your console, you can see hello world being printed below. Now for a string, you can either use double quotes or a single quote as well. Just make sure that if you are starting with a single quote, you end with a single quote and the same thing with a double quote. We can also assign our strings to variables. To do so, just type in a variable name of your choice. Here I'm going to give the variable name as my string. Use a equal to sign and type in the variable after that. So in this way, my string here is a variable and it has been assigned the value as hello world. In other words, my string is a variable that stores the value hello world. Now going forward, if I were to print the variable my string, it would not print my string but the value that it contains, which is hello world. The next thing that we'll learn today is what is an escape character and what are special characters in Python. Like every other programming language out there, even Python has got certain characters that has got two different meanings. For example, the character n can also stand for a new line. If I were to type the character n by itself, it means nothing special. However, if I combine it by a backslash, the meaning of it changes to a new line. Let me run it. You see hello world are printed on two different lines. Your backslash here is your escape character and the combination of the two is your special character. In this case, your escape character helps you convert certain characters to a special character. We have got a whole bunch of special characters in Python which has got many meanings. We have already seen your backslash n, which is new line. We have got backslash t, which stands for a tab. The others, I have given them in the description below. Now, note that backslash is an escape character for Python. In different programming languages, we have different special characters which are used. It not necessarily be backslash. Now, the escape character has got two different functions. We already have seen the first function, which is converting a character into a special character. The second function is doing the complete opposite. Let us look at this with an example. Say for example, I had a string which says the automation zone says hello world. Now in this case, if you see Python is doing an error, why is this happening? According to Python, our string should start with a single code and it should end with a single code. Now, whatever that comes after my single code, Python is treating it like garbage. It does not understand and hence it is throwing an error. Now, we need to tell Python that, hey Python, don't treat this single code as anything special. Treat it as a normal part of the string. To do so, you can use your escape character, which is your backslash. Hence, this will convert your single code has your normal string. I can do this for the other single code as well. And now if I run it, you can see the automation zone says hello world and it has come with your single quotes inside of your string. So you can convert 
characters that have certain meanings for example single quote here into a part of your string by using your escape character as well now this is just for example in reality you didn't have to do any of this you could have just typed in the entire thing in your double quotes like so so python would start the string with a double quote and end the string with a double quote and everything inside would be treated it would be treated as a string so this is a way you can use your escape characters for converting some characters into strings and some characters into your special characters the next topic is a raw string this is the most simplest topic raw string simply states anything and everything inside of my string will be considered a string it does not take an account for my escape characters or any other special characters example here i have a string called hello world and if i had a special character like so backslash n which stands for new line i can see hello and world are being printed in two different lines however if i were to put an r right before my string then this string gets converted to a raw string notice the change in colors without r my backslash n is of a different color and with r the color changes to green which means this entire thing is now considered a string or a raw string once i print it you would see the entire thing is printed below in my console the last topic for today is adding of strings also called as concatenation concatenation is used to combine two different strings to create a larger string for example let me have two different strings here one is str1 which has the text called hello and the other is str2 which has a text called has world now i can combine str1 and str2 to come to create a larger string simply by using the plus sign the plus sign in numbers would mean addition in strings it means combination or combining both the strings to create a larger string if i run this you see hello and world are combined together to create a new string called as hello world now one thing to note is by doing so i am not altering the original string they remain the same i can concatenate more than one string either by using variables or without variables or the combination of the two for example here i have two variables and i also have a string in between all of them separated by a plus sign this would work as well in the output you would see hello world i can also combine it by using an asterisk also in this case i'm using double quotes here and here i'm using single quotes that would work fine as well here we go hello world that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial we'll learn about string splicing if you have any questions in this tutorial do comment below i will help you out if you like my series do like and share this video and subscribe to my channel thank you all for watching